This week, we are looking for something new, scallops. It's scalloping season here in beautiful Florida. Scallops are a delicious type of shellfish that you'll often find served in restaurants, and we want to collect enough to eat for dinner. We've traveled to Homosassa on the west coast of Florida, where the Spanish moss drips from the trees and the manatees are known to reside year round in the crystal clear springs. So we're here because we got a tip from our friend Charles to meet up with Captain Billy, who is a local captain in these parts. He's gonna help us find some scallops. He was born and raised in this area and knows the waterways better than anyone else. Here are Captain Billy's tips for finding scallops. Uh, the easiest time to catch them is on the slack tide because the grass is sticking straight up and down. So then you can actually look right, straight okay. down rather than it being to the side. Exactly, because when the tide's ripping, it's all folded over. Uh -huh. so, so the shell, they have a light side and a darker side. There's typically the darker side is on the top and then the lighter side will be on the bottom. If it is for some reason the other way around, the whiter side, it's super easy to see. It almost sticks out like a sore thumb. Right, right. It's a lot easier. So that top shell, sometimes hard to see. I look for the ridge, for the oh, outline okay, okay. of the ridge on the outside of the shell, yeah. and then look for those blue eyes. So they have a line right on the inside of the shell. There's a line that goes all the way along the edge. Looks like a bunch of little speckled dots, almost stars in the sky. Nice. Except they have a blue tint to it, and that blue tint you'll see, and it's almost you can't mistake it really. Once oh, you see it, so cool. once you see it, after you catch your first few, you you've got it. All right, let's go. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. This is so amazing. I've never seen water so clear, except for maybe in the Keys. Yeah, all but the these keys, seagrass the is all here. cut up in the this Keys. This is why the manatees are here. They have all of these seagrass meadows to come and graze. Oh, and they eat that? Yeah, they, oh. they only eat uh, the vegetarian. Yeah, I've been, I've been trying to look over the side and see if I can see any. I haven't seen any exactly jump out at me. We're going a little fast. Here's what we're after. I got the first one. Yeah. First one of the season. Good job. That's what yes. we're looking for. Wow. Okay. That's a piece oh, of I see the little blue eyes. Let me yep. see the blue eyes. That's so cool. cool. Oh, oh, he's opened up. Whoa. Did you think in this, Cindy? No. It only hurts for a second. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. They like to open and close. I see this guy. So the easiest way is just to grab them and close them. That way they don't pinch you. But it can't every, hurt, right? The pinching. No, whenever they do it, 
just for a second. It's not. It's, it's not even. Crab. It's not even like a pinch. It's, they're not trying to bite you. Dude. They're yeah, they, that's just, just how. They, that's how they swim. There's when they open and close like that. <laughs> so that's that's exactly how they'll sit, almost on top, but kind of down in. Oh, oh, he's trying to swim in the way. He's trying to swim away. <laughs> not today. All right, we haven't even gotten in the water. We got two already. All right, I'm gonna get in the water. That's a good start. So now you can see those little blue wow. eyes along every ridge. Those are its eyes? Yep, those little blue dots along the ridge are its eyes on the top and the bottom. That is so insane. I've never seen scouts. Those things, they almost look like lips right there. That's what they use. That's how they filter feed. And then when you open them up, those are his guts in there. Behind the guts, you see that little white piece. That's the meat. So that's the, that's what, that's the little piece we want. <laughs> Everything else is the guts and... You don't like uh, I haven't, I haven't tried them. <laughs> so you don't eat that like you eat a clam, right? No, not like a clam. You gotta, cl you've gotta clean them. Yeah. And you can eat them raw if you guys want. I can bust one open. Well, well later. We'll do it later. later. When Make sure we got enough first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here, I'll give this one to you. Awesome. That is awesome. All right, Brendan's going in. Oh, the water's so perfect right now. Probably 88 degrees. <laughs> As soon as I put my head underwater, I felt as though I was in another world. Sweet. I started swimming around the boat, looking for a shell in the weeds. At first I didn't see anything, but then, do you see it? Oh. First one, <laughs> ever. Here we go. <laughs> uh. When I found my next scallop, something crazy happened. It started running away from me. Number two. Number two. All right, guys. Good start. Aaron went in on the action. So we start swimming around looking for them together. I pointed one out to her, but she had trouble finding it at first. But then she eventually got it. <laughs> finding scallops is kind of like playing I spy, but once you figure out what you're looking for, it gets easier and easier to spot them. As we were swimming, Erin saw something she wanted to show me. So now Erin and I have both calibrated our eyes and we've really locked into finding these scallops. Now it's just a matter of swimming through and finding as many of these scallops as we can. Oh. Oh. 
So I noticed exactly what Captain Billy was talking about. When it's a slack tide, the grass is standing straight up. This allows you to look straight down and see scallops much easier. But when the tide starts moving, the grass will lay down and move to one side, covering up the scallops. So during this slack tide, we're really going to take advantage and find as many of these scallops as we can. Oftentimes when you find one scallop, you're able to find another one in the general area. This was a pretty lively bunch. I found two of them. The first one I picked up, it bit me. And as I let go of it, the other one that I grabbed is starting to swim away from me at the same time. It was pretty crazy to see. So I had to pick up one, grab it, come up for air, go back down and get the second one. At certain points, I feel like my eyes are playing tricks on me. I keep seeing scallops, but then when I go down and look, it's not a scallop. It's just like a piece of weed or something like that. So I really got to like recalibrate my eyes by cleaning out my goggles and just taking a breath outside of the air for a second, then go back and really tackle them again. Okay, so Captain Billy says this is actually more of a rare one right here. The, the orange one is rarer. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus four in the bucket. Put them in. Cool. Orange one tastes different, you know. No. Tastes like orange. Tastes like orange juice. <laughs> some of them are sweeter, some of them are saltier. Oh, really? Mm. That's kind of weird. Cool. Cool. Next spot? Yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, my God. I only got to go a couple hundred yards. I usually get you more, but then it's like, I don't want to scour through it. You've got to try, you got to keep moving around. So anywhere but, all over here, all over there could be scallops. This whole coastline for about 40 to 60 miles well, is all is all grass flats like this <laughs> that, you, that you can catch scallops in. Wow, and they're here all year round or are they here? They are um, in the winter time and whenever it rains a lot, they either bury down into the mud and the grass uh -huh. or they move out offshore. They don't move very fast, obviously, <laughs> but they slowly move in and out with the tides. There's no scallop holes like fish holes. Here. No, there's no there's no certain area that they go to for anything. It's just spontaneous. <laughs> and we're about ten miles off of off of the sh off land. We're about well, we're ten miles from the dock where we left. Uh -huh. From land, we're only I guess the closest place would be about five miles, four miles. You ready to get back in? Yeah, I'm ready to get back in. Let's go find some Let's more. Let's look for it. I'm gonna find. Oh, do they, do they read it? Yeah, you have to put it up. Yeah, That's that means how that means. It's 100, 100 yards or 300 feet. So if you have to get closer than that to somebody that has a dive flag, you, yeah. you're supposed to go slow and keep your eyes out. <laughs> Papa's in. The water is so perfect. It's crystal, crystal clear. I've never seen water this clear before. And it feels amazing on my skin. It's really, really hot out during this time of year. But when you're in the water, it feels so refreshing and so cool. I, would, I wouldn't want to do anything but swim right now. And I'm not just swimming. The best part about this is I get to swim and look for scallops. This is just such a fun little Easter egg that I would recommend this to anyone who wants to catch their own dinner, or anyone who just loves being on the water. Hit up Captain Billy. This guy knows where to find him.
this is just such an amazing experience being here with my parents, being here with my fiance. We're all in the water, swimming around, laughing, having a good time. This is exactly why I love having this channel. This is why I love being on the water. It makes me feel so alive to be swimming around and harvesting things that I can eat with my family and making just such great memories with the people that I love. And I wanna thank everyone who's watching this show for putting us here. There's just so much life under here. When you really take a second and look around, you'll find starfish, little hermit crabs, little tiny fish swimming everywhere, all sorts of little creatures living in the water. And it really, really feels like you're just swimming around in a whole nother world. So you can see the tide is starting to move now. It's getting harder to swim and the grass is kind of laying down onto one side, making it harder to find scallops. The last spot we were at, I was finding a lot of scallops. Now it seems like they're much harder to see and they're far and fewer in between. I wonder if it's because of the tide or because maybe other people have already picked through them. Who knows? All I know is it's almost time to eat lunch. So if you turn How do we do? Oh, there he goes. That's he's so got good. air. He's holding air inside of him. Oh. So if you turn him sideways, see how he's floating? And then you turn him sideways. See this little tiny crease right here? See the bubbles coming out? There he goes. Yeah. Wow, they're laughing. The orange one. What did you learn? Oh, I Where's learned that these are, they're, they're pretty, they're pretty challenging to find a bunch at a time, but when you find one, sometimes there's another one around it. So when you find one, stick around that area. Did you find any, mom? I found one, but I lost it. I was like picking up balls of wheat, like the seaweed, and then they were under there too. Really? Yeah. yeah. The more you look into the grass, the more you'll find. Yeah. So before I was going too fast and if you just slow down and just look, you'll actually find you'll find more going slower. What do they look like under the water? So, well, sometimes they're really easy to find when they're like upside down like this, but other times they're like hidden like this and you just barely see that line of blue eyes. And sometimes you find orange ones like this. Ooh. So the best way to clean a scallop is actually to put them on ice. So then when you put them on ice with no water, just a nice dry, leave the plug open. That way it's just ice. They'll actually all open up which makes them a lot easier. Otherwise, if they're closed like this, you can see this little tiny gap right here in a shell. So then you need something thin enough. A knife is uh, hard. You don't want to cut yourself. A sharpened spoon or an oyster knife is ideal. But you see how I'm just kind of prying them open right here? Now the real trick is you want to scrape the dark side off first. You don't want to break them in half because then you'll be breaking your meat into an even smaller piece. So we're going to take this and just scrape the top of the shell. So the reason you want to do the dark side up is that the dark side is actually more flat than the white side. You see how the white side is actually more rounded. So the meat clings to here more than it does on the top, on the top half. So we just scrape that off. Ooh. We pop it off like that. that top off. So we separated the meat and everything from that side. So now you can see the guts and we want that little piece. There's our meat right there in the middle. Just take this right here, scrape it. And you can just scrape it right off of the edge of the meat here. And then you can kind of grab it once you get it started. Pulls right off. Wow. Gorgeous. And these were the eyes here, right? Those are the eyes and the guts and everything they use to filter feed. Are you and it won't taste like much. A little bit of salt, a little bit of, it's pretty plain. Just white meat. Mmm. Mmm. Awesome. That wow. Worked. And even that's and that's just plain. Wait till you put a little bit of lemon or anything oh, else. Wow, on I would rather just not cook them. Yeah, they're, they're all, delicious. They're all great. Everybody underestimates them. What does it taste wow. like, Brendan? It's like a like a really fresh scallop. Like when you cook, sometimes you cook a scallop, you cook it too much, and it becomes rubbery. This just breaks apart so easily. It's like sweet. It's got a little bit of salt water taste to it. Mmm. 
texture is just like, it just melts in your mouth. All right, so we're breaking our shell off. We scrape the dark side here. A little bit of a bigger meat in this one. Oh, it's delicious. Just come right here and scrape it all to one side. All right, now. No, it, yeah, it doesn't have an oyster taste at all. Much no, better. It's it's way better than oyster, I think. Well, yeah, that's good, that's right? Good. Yes. <laughs> this is wrong. Yeah. <laughs> How long have we been out here for? Uh, what four hours? I don't know. We left to the dock at seven so seven fifteen. That's five minutes to noon. Oh, wow. Well, this is how many scallops we got. We're gonna get them cleaned for us, and then we're gonna take them back and make them into ceviche. That was a successful dive this morning. Definitely. Thank you, Captain. You guys did very well, especially Thanks. for your first trip scalloping. <laughs> Thank you. It didn't take too long for you to catch on, and then it was on from there. Yeah. So it, literally watching the improvement happen was right here in, in front of well, you us. You put us right on the action. We it had a good captain. The whole yeah. Time. It was it was great. Yeah. Highly recommend this charter. Well, what do you what do you call your charter? Uh, this is it's Captain Billy for our fishing LLC. You can find me on Facebook, Google, pretty much anything, Instagram, all that fun stuff, TikTok. And if you want to go fishing, he does fishing. If you want to do scalloping, he does scalloping. If you want to see manatees, he does manatees. Whatever you want to do out <laughs> in the water, he's got you. Right here at Homosassa Crystal River, we've got many different off things to offer here. So if you want to experience it all, call me up. And this is coming from a guy who was born and raised here, so he knows the waters really well. He'll get you to the spot quick, and he'll put you on stuff right away. All right, you ready to go eat some some scallops? I'm ready to get them clean first. Let's do it. Yep. It'll take a second up. to clean them up yourself. So we're gonna bring into a guy, these nuts guy. Yep. We're gonna take him to these nuts. Uh, it's <laughs> Dwayne and his shuck and hunt. He's got a pontoon boat set up where he cleans all of our scallops. It's a nice little process. You see, he, it'll be him and a couple others. It's almost like an assembly line. Cool. And we'll come back and we'll see. Let's do right. it. Let's do it. Oh, I see it right here. Whoa. Ooh. It's all stirred up, but you can see how it just drops down. Uh-huh. You think anything lives like in there? Here. You think any fish live in there? I catch some snapper in there every once in a while. Ooh. Now you can really see it. Oh, I see some Ooh. big snappers in there. Yeah. It's a little stirred up right now. This trip is actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. What you really need is a good captain, and by good captain, all I really require is that one, the captain can find us good stuff to catch, and two, the captain is having fun with us. A lot of charters that I've been on, uh, I don't know, the captain didn't even really seem like they wanted to be there. But this guy, he's the real deal. No nuts. No nuts. I'll have to go somewhere else. So we're back at the Airbnb. We've got a bucket full of scallops, freshly iced, and uh, I'm gonna take the laborious task of shucking all of them. What I remember, we're gonna get it from the top. See how it's attached to a muscle like that? You don't wanna just rip it open because you'll break the muscle. So you wanna cut it from the top like this. Do you see that? So once you get that cut, then you open it up. You take the membrane off here. And you scrape this, all the guts out like this. There we go. Now we're gonna cut this. Scallop number two. Yeah, I did a practice one. <laughs> Same thing. Cut it from the top. Three. So now I'm gonna just do them all, rapid speed. Aaron, you want to help me or should I just do it all myself? I can help you. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, I figured out a way faster method and this involves using a spoon. You're just going to clip it off from the top using that. Okay. And then just use the spoon to get it out. It's so much easier. Look at that. And then peel it out with your hand. All right? And then pluck that scallop out. Just like that.
save these special rare orange ones for last. It's just a little more rare. You don't typically see them all orange like this. And I love how it just peels off like this. Look at this. The guts just come right off. You scrape it the right direction. We'll keep these two special Ooh. on the side for now. Wow, all that work. All that work for maybe a quarter pound of scallops, maybe a half pound. So now we've got all this other uh, ceviche stuff prepared. We're gonna kind of give this a rinse in water and then we're gonna mix it with lime, cilantro, onion, tomato, jalapeno. Oh my gosh, and then we're gonna eat it with some chips. Let's get ready. <sighs> I want the other one now. I just have a sip, come on. Mm. Oh, that's the one you Love it, yeah. <laughs> Woo. <gasps> These look so nice. Michael, you want to see this? This. <laughs> it's worth it. All of that work for this. But it's worth it. Because each one of these are going to be delicious. That's so fresh. All right, we're going to mix with this, right? Actually, let's put this in first, right? Yeah, and the lime. Yeah, the lime, yeah. I already washed it with fresh water two or three times already. Nice. Are you guys shit? Yep. Yeah, we got oh, chips. Yes. Now this lime juice will actually cook. Woo! Woo! Lime <laughs> juice will actually cook the, um, the scallops in here, just like if you had fish in here, it would do the same thing. And the longer you leave it in there, the more cooked it will get. You don't want that. I don't want it so cooked. I don't like it raw. Okay, let's do some cilantro, some tomatoes, and some onions. I'll put the jalapenos last. Mm. Oh, my oh my gosh. Do you put hot sauce in it? I could put some hot sauce in it. Oh yeah. There's margarita glasses up there. Let's serve it in that. Mexican feast today. We've got shrimp, fresh shrimp, fajitas right here, coleslaw, chicken, salsa, scallop ceviche, tortilla chips, corn tortillas coming right up. Oh yeah. All right, first things first, let's give this a try. Dad, you wanna do the honors? No, you go ahead. You're good at it. At what? Doing the honors? Yeah. <laughs> you work so hard. Yeah. Wow. Okay, here we go. Cheers, Dad. Cheers, Aaron. You're Cheers. Next. Whole whole thing. Whole whole thing. Yeah. Two holes. Okay, that's mm. that's a major yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. I just know you're gonna love this, Aaron. <laughs> Can you describe it at all? The texture of the scallop is very soft, like kind of like a kind of like, almost like plain. And then it's a little bit spicy from the jalapenos, and the cilantro tastes delicious with it all. All right, this is for you, Aaron. For me? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Thank you. Cheers, y'all. Oh, come on, baby. Is that, is just, just all scallop? I wouldn't do that to you. Mm. Really good, right? Mm. That's oh, so good. I think I might even prefer without even the chip. Those scallops, it's just so soft and tender. Mm -hmm. I usually don't like scallop because they're too chewy. This is like, I don't know what to tell. Wow. It's really good. It's like melting in your mouth. Yeah. yeah, it's like melting your mouth. Definitely, you'll think your favorite way to eat this. I agree. Mm. All right, let's make a taco now. This is just coleslaw with salt, pepper, and lime juice. I'm gonna make it with this fresh shrimp. Oh my goodness. And some fajitas. Dang! Yeah. Oh, we got with some cilantro, onions. I did everything, I did everything, yeah. Let's do this. 
Mmm. 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 Wow. Nice. Pretty amazing. What's that? We ruined scallops for ourselves? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? This is the freshest scallop. You're totally spoiled now. You're Completely ruined the scallops. Spoiled. Give me another chicken. Chicken. I'm so glad we decided to make it. Thank you. This is amazing. I know. I no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest you got cooked. We're tired. When you cook them, they shrunk the few and so Mmm, that's true. Mmm, you're right. Mmm. Oh, I don't, don't, don't I know it. I love it too. I used to see how much I ate the other night. I tell your mom, see? That's ridiculous. That's too much. Next thing I know, it's all gone. You know what I would love to catch next? Oh my god. Some squid calamari. Oh, that would be good. Mm hmm. Look at me, give me a second. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Thank you. Okay. Right. Cheers to a successful harvest. Yay. And a successful adventure. That was so fun. Thank you, Captain Billy. Mmm. Mmm. Thank you. Mmm. He was great. Mmm. 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 The best of each other I've ever had. It's really? Like, almost including the cobble. It mm -hmm. is better than the cobble. It's just so fresh, and the way you made it, it was perfect. Cobble, not fresh. Yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Healthy care. Mm. I feel like I could literally eat my entire meal just this ceviche. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Should I take this off? Yeah. The jalapenos in there are kind of spicy. Yeah, a little bit. You want another one, Ben? Yeah, please. Sure, I'm good. I think I'll come back for the manatee for sure. You'll definitely come back, right? So let's come back in the winter time. We can even hit up Captain Billy again. Mm -hmm. The swimming will be different though, I feel like, in the winter time. Yeah, well, you can still swim with them. It's colder. That's when you'll be swimming with manatees. Okay, so totally worth it. Are we coming back for scalloping season next year, or you want to try another place called Stein? What is it called? I would come back here. Me I would. Too. Yeah, it was fun. The scallops are really good. The water was beautiful, really clean. Once we got out there, yeah, <laughs> we found a lot. Maybe yeah, bring fun. some friends next time to help us find some. some Maybe more we'll scallops. have our own. Oh, shit, you got friends. You yeah, <laughs> share with your friends too. Oh, that's true. Okay, that's okay. How was your experience, dude? I thought this was such an interesting and like once in a lifetime experience for me. But the exciting part is it doesn't have to be once in a lifetime because I feel like I want to come back here every year for scalloping season. How about mm. you? Mm. I just ate a scallop and I'm still enjoying yeah, it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, and next time I want to do the scallops differently. I know we love ceviche, but let's try it differently yeah. next time. That was super fun. Hope you guys enjoyed. I want to give a quick shout out to my friend Charles who helped us find Captain Billy. True. He actually hooked us up and linked us up with him, and um, we're going to be fixing up a, a boat soon together. And uh, just a new friend, I want to give you a big shout out. Ooh. Thanks, Thanks, Charles. Charles. <laughs> and thank you, Captain Billy, for taking us out. My awesome. whole family had such a great time. You were an awesome, awesome guy. Very fun. And I would recommend. Love it. I would recommend Captain Billy to anyone who's in the area. In fact, go and travel to Homosassa. Seek out Captain Billy. Yeah. Take a scalloping trip, take a fishing trip, take a manatee trip with him. It was fun. Well, he'll put you on to fun. And the best part about Captain Billy is that he has a lot of fun doing it with the crew. Yeah. I've been on charters before where it's just not fun. They don't seem like they're enjoying it. And that makes me not enjoy it. But when you have a captain that's really having fun, that's when you are gonna have the most fun. Yeah, it was super fun today. It was really fun to film. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, if you'd like to support us a little bit, hit those links in the description. We're going to leave a few. Hey, check out our new store, hayskipperfishing.com. We have all sorts of fishing stuff for you guys. We've got merch. We've got plenty of things that will help you get right on fish. And we'll see you in next week's episode. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye.